And as Ferguson, Missouri prepares tonight for more rallies from ABC, joining me right now, Marcy Gonzalez is covering Ferguson today from New York. Good evening, uh, Marcy. Good evening, Lucy. So, uh, Marcy, what's the, l the latest after the overnight violence? Well, it all started yesterday as peaceful protests and marches. Of course, it was the first anniversary of the death of an unarmed teenager, Michael Brown, shot to death by a police officer in Ferguson one year ago. Uh, but then it quickly escalated into the evening. There was looting, there was violence, and there was a shooting that police now say started between two rival groups in a parking lot. Now, police say one person in that crowd then ran off, an 18-year-old man, and that's when they say that 18-year-old shot at a police vehicle that had four detectives inside. They say those detectives then got out of the vehicle, and that 18-year-old kept shooting at them. Uh, they say that's when shots were fired from police. They shot that teenager, and he is listed in critical condition today. Several officers were also injured throughout last night's violence. Uh, two were pepper sprayed, we're told by protesters, and police say one officer was hit in the face by a rock. Marcy, are there any concerns over further escalation at this point? Well, there's really no way of knowing, but police are stepping up, uh, putting extra patrols out today because more protests are planned for this afternoon. Yes, Marcy Gonzalez, uh, ABC News, thank you uh, very, very much for this.